and welcome to Helena, Montana. I am Nicole Arrington coming to you from MontanaCards.com. I am an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. I am here to bring you this beautiful um, double easel card. As you can see, it has this front bit, which is so much fun, and this back bit, which you can then go ahead and write inside. And isn't it just so exciting? I have used this whale done bundle to create this card. And I was going to go ahead and go through how to create this card with you. Um, the first thing I would do is create. First thing I did was create this background. And to create that background, I went ahead and used the fish stamp. I took out the fish stamp and I took a whole bunch of colors. The colors I used was, let me pull this back out, shaded spruce, um, Pacific Point, crushed curry, Bermuda Bay, Granny Apple Green, Blackberry B Bliss, um, Balmy Blue, and Calypso Coral. And then I repeat it again. So I will go ahead and show you how I did that. First thing I'm going to do is get out my stamping board, since we're working with acrylics piece of scratch paper because I just kind of go over the ends a little bit and my stamp I think it was just a random selection of how they started off on my card I use my cleaner close up that ink because if I leave that open my fingers are gonna go in there and that equals bad that equals a mess everywhere next color I used was Pacific Point and when I was stamping with this I realized that these fish line up so it just makes it smooth and transitionless to go from one to the next color. And that looks a little bare. And I will do crushed curry. Following. This just wraps around that bottom fish so perfectly. It's just amazing. They were really thinking this one through when they designed this stamp. Somebody like me just need that perfect lineup. All right. And so you just keep going down and down until you fill out the full card. I made a previous one so that you wouldn't have to watch me go all the way through that to uh, make that. So, I mean, it saves tons of time. I'm going to set that to the side. The next, oh, and this panel here is three and three fourths by five inches. The next piece I'm going to take is a three and three fourths by two and a half. And I'm going to make this right down here. All right, so I'm going to start with sage spruce. Let me put these away. Let me. I'm going to pull out the seaweed stamp. I mean, this set is just really amazing. I absolutely love the designer paper. 
but I wanted to make some stamps or some cards that didn't use the designer paper, the designer series paper, because when you buy, go and buy a stamp set, you want it to last forever. And if you only see designer series paper and they quit carrying it, what are you supposed to do? So here are some examples of how you can continue to use this throughout the years. And I just make four stamps of that. I'm going to clean off my stamp, put this away, and then I'm going to pull out Granny Apple Green. going to stamp and then I'm going to kind of come over here and stamp again a second stamp off stamp stamp so I'm going to double stamp with every time I stamp and this one I'll double stamp here and single stamp there right and just give it a nice some nice lovely colors all right I'm gonna set that aside we'll put that together here in a moment um, next I am going to stamp my my whale my jellyfish my turtle and this seahorse. The one I forgot its name. Let me put that back. So I can keep up here. All right. So the whale I'm going to stamp in Pacific Point. a nice firm good stamp clean off my stamp set it aside put that away um, the jellyfish I'm gonna use Calypso coral one so I got the love that cute 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 it's one of the little sea turtle which I think I have some more card ideas to make with that guy he's very cute um, so let me get that Just stamp him And he's in Granny Apple Green. And the last one I've got is the seahorse. Oh, I lie. I've also got my sentiment. So my seahorse. I guess it's the last animal. The seahorse, but though, is going to be stamped in none other than crushed curry. Locks a little wet. Hmm. All right. Then the last thing I'm going to stamp is going to be my sentiment. And the sentiment I chose is, my love for you is 
bigger than the ocean. And I did that in Blackberry Bliss. There we go. All right. I'm going to do the punches first. So the whale, I'll go ahead and punch that out. So put my scraps there. I'll set him aside. And then I'm going to use the everyday label punch. I, it's just amazing. All right. And I don't want the whole thing. I actually trimmed this up a little bit to make my own design with it. So let me kind of center it around those two half circles sticking out there. Doesn't matter if I get a full punch because I'm not going to use all of it. And I'm going to get out my cutter. And what I'm going to do is cut the um, those concave circles off. So I'm just left with just a straight solid piece. So I'm going to cut off those concave that area above the concave circles above and below that stamp. There's my trimmer. Okay, so it'll look like that. So let me do this other side for you. And voila! Different shape from a really cool, amazing punch. Alright, let me set that aside and come back to it. And where did I put? Oh, I put my scissors back in their home. All right. So next, I'm going to cut these guys all out. So that we can adhere them to the card. We'll see, but maybe in the next few days, I think I might have another card using this adorable little turtle, that, another kind of different fancy fold card. But we'll see if I, if I can get there. I'm just going to kind of fussy cut around. And there's that lovely little turtle. And I thought to save time, I would pre-cut the other two. So you wouldn't have to watch me cut those guys. All right, so I'm just going to set those aside until I am ready to assemble my card. I'll just kind of put those over here in that box so I don't lose them. Yeah. When you're doing something like this, you can't find anything. All right. So I got a piece of sage spruce. It is cut at four and a quarter by 11. And I'm going to score it with, or at five and a half. And of course, my bone folder is somewhere. 
not where it's supposed to be. So I will take my take a pick tool and use it to help me score at five and a half. And then I'm going to take some Bermuda Bay and it is four by ten and a quarter. And I will score at two and a half and at five. All right. Oh, here's my bowl folder. Perfect. All right. I'm going to fold that in half. This one I'm going to fold up. And then I'm going to fold that back down to give it that kind of easel, easel appearance. I will then take my multi-purpose glue to help me adhere it. Oh no. Something stuck in there. Silly, silly glue. That's the only thing I have issues with, is this with this fine. Oh, there we go. I absolutely love this fine tip, but it does get stuck every so often. So I'm going to go ahead and it, make sure I adhere this correctly. Got a nice solid push down. Then I am going to take my cute little fish paper and I'm going to glue it down. And then on this front panel here, I will go ahead and glue that. Oops, got to wiggle out of the way. All right, now I get to embellish with all my sea creatures. All right, and I'm going to take some dimensionals and pop them because there's nothing better than a popped up sea creature. All right, so I'm just going to put some dimensionals on the back of the turtle, place them here, And the whale gets his. I might bring him in so his tail doesn't get squished in the envelope. There's a squid. I'm also going to pop up my sentiment here. I'm going to take that one because it just popped off this top.
My love for you is bigger than the ocean. What a... I mean, truly, who wouldn't love a card that says something like that? Especially right now, when we're all trying to figure, figure things out. How to stay social with everybody, yet away from everybody. And then there's that cute, cute little uh, seahorse. And there is the card. Um, please check out my website or my or my Facebook page for details about this. I will have posted all the dimensions and the t tools needed to to make this card and the, and the detail box below. Um, I would be very happy to be your demonstrator. Right now, if you order fifty dollars from Stamping Up. You will receive free items. I just got some of mine today. Let me see if they're right here. Oh, well, I got one of them. I just got this beautiful, beautiful designer series paper, the flower field design paper. I can't wait to get into it and make some cards. Um, and on the back order is the donkeys. They'll be coming in some point, hopefully, in the next week. But yeah, so. And right now, if you order from me, I have two card kits, if you spend $30 or more, that you will get absolutely free from me. I will mail them to you as soon as you put in a card order um, of $30 or more, and that as well is in the link below. I will send you links of those. Um, but look at my website, BigSkyCards.com, email me at Nicole at BigSkyCardsNicole at gmail.com. Um, obviously, you're checking out my YouTube channel. Um, send me a like or a dislike and, or any comments you would like, and I'll get back to you. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye.